it's Carla from Creative Love Affair and I'm here with the Spiegel Mum Scraps blog hop. It's May 1st and I've joined their design team and I'm super excited. I've got a twist and pop card for you today. I'm cutting a 12 by 12 piece of paper into three strips and I cut a four inch strip, a three and a half and then another three and a half. And I'm going to cut this three and a half inch strip at 10 inches. And then I'm going to cut the second three and a half inch strip at eight inches. And I've got my three parts there. Now I'm going to score my card base, which is 12 by six at the six inch mark. I'm going to score the 10 inch long strip at two and a half, five, and seven and a half inches. And then I'm gonna fold a valley, mountain, and valley fold. So you're gonna see when I hold it up, and I'm creasing all those folds with a bone folder. Then the third strip is the mechanism for the twist and pop card. I'm just scoring it at one and three quarter lengthwise, and then I'm turning it around, and I'm marking it at two and a quarter and five and three quarter inches on each side. And what you're gonna see me do is match up those pencil lines. And I've just made a little uh, mark on my scoreboard with my pencil, so it's easy to see. And I'm scoring diagonally to match those pencil lines. And then just creasing those folds again with the bone folder. I'm going to um, have all the dimensions on my blog, which you'll see uh, which will be listed below the video and I'll link to the video that I used um, to originally create this card and uh, she also does a step-by-step -step walk through if you need a little bit uh, slower explanation for that. I'm just folding that in and creasing it down really well. Now I'm just adding some score tape which is uh, thick tape that's going to stick really well and I'm adding that on the triangular piece at the top and uh, on both sides. Now I'm going to use this Heartfelt Creations, it's a Christmas paper but has some lovely uh, turquoise and blue colors in it and I really liked the spring feel of the paper. So you can see on one side it is Christmassy but I felt like the other side was uh, spring-like. So this is the inside of my card and I wanted it covered the full way. Um, and so now I'm putting on that mechanism just by lining it up in the middle, the two inch mark. And you can see how easily that goes together. I just removed the score tape on both sides, laid it down. Now for the four panels. I just um, put it into the center, folded the two edges over, and then made a little pencil line. And I'm showing you where I put the tape on. And those are the only places you want to tape that four panel on. So I'm laying the panel down and then just opening up the last two panels and when you shut that card, that's how the twist and pop works. It's really quite neat. Now I'm just using some of my new Distress Oxide inks and I edged the outside of the paper. This is gonna be the front of my card and I'm adding a stamp. Um, it was a stamp that you got with a magazine and a friend actually sent it to me with a little swap package, which was awesome. So I thought I would use the spring flower stamps and um, put them on the front of the card. And I really like these Distress Inks for stamping. They stamp very nice and clean. I just grabbed some colored pencils and I'm coloring in the flowers and the leaves and I'm just blending lightly. I'm not doing anything too crazy and uh, just adding some color to my flowers. I'm going to add an image here in a minute that's from one of the Gorgeous Girl sets. And I've colored this on watercolor paper with 
some mermaid markers from Jane Davenport, which I'm really uh, loving right now. And uh, I find they're great to just bring along. I wanted to add a little tea bag to the front of my card because I'm using lots of tea images. So I wrapped it with some Spiegel Mom Scraps twine. It's from May Arts in a raspberry color. And I'll link the supplies from her shop below. And I'm adding some really neat uh, star shooting star cork. And I added a little bunny that I watercolored. And here are the awesome sequins that I chose to use on my project. There's three different um, sequin packs. I love that the there's so many fun colors in each pack, but you can totally coordinate them to go with anything. I grabbed some Glimmer Mist from Tattered Angels, and I'm just adding a little bit to the Quirk Stars. Uh, it's in the bronze, just to give them a little bit of glimmer. And there's my little cork butterfly. That's as well from Spiggle Mom Scraps. And I'm adding a little flower right to the middle of the butterfly and I glue that blood butterfly down onto my stamped butterfly so that you can see the little antenna in the back. And I'm just showing you how I'm adding some sequins around the card. I'm using some glossy accents to adhere them. And I just pencil in with my marker, black marker. This was from a spa smash uh, kit and I add some little dotted lines. So I really love how the front turned out. And those uh, pretty sequins in the spring colors just give it a really pretty look. This is gonna be the inside four panels. I'm using some uh, Verve digital stamps. They were on a printout and uh, I cut them out. I colored them with Prismacolor markers, which are alcohol based. And I just uh, edged my panels with some Distress Ink and I'm adding the sequins on top with the glossy accents. And uh, I really like how those turned out as well. Those were as well from that Christmas paper pack. And I layered them on a darker purple piece. And then I put another of the Verve Sentiment on the top. So on the bottom I'm using a little stamp that came in that stamp set saying you're marvelous and adding a few more sequins. I really enjoy putting sequins on my sentiment in the card. I find it just dresses it up. And here's a look at the inside. It's so fun and colorful and I think it's very nice and spring-like. I cut a little band and I'm going to uh, adhere the band around the card and I had some little velcro spots from the dollar store they're sticky on each side so I'm just sticking my band closed and I'm going to glue dot my tea bag with the little tea or with the little tag on it right on the top so when someone receives this they can pop it off and have their tea and they can still enjoy their card and everything's still decorated and at the bottom I'll just write who it's to and from I had a lot of fun making this card and I'm really glad you joined me today I hope you'll stop over to the Spiegel Mom Scraps uh, blog and see all the designers who are designing today and check out their shop for some really fun things and I'll definitely be back to share lots more of their products with you. Thanks for stopping by and I'd love for you to like and subscribe.